Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got another 3D print I wanted to share with you. It's a pretty cool one. I don't know if any of you have seen the announcement of the new Tesla vehicle, the, their new truck, the Cybertruck. Well, that's what we got here today in 3D. Uh, I've borrowed this design from someone on Thingiverse. I'll share their link, their page, and their name here. Uh, they're doing a really good job at uh, putting this design together, and then they keep updating it uh, on a daily basis. So I've got one of the uh, current uh, uh, designs of it right now. What I did was I took the design, I enlarged it from what uh, the designer had to 180% times the original size, and we get something this long here. So it's gonna be pretty big uh, to sit on your bookshelf, on your desk at work or something like that. You're gonna need something physical to show people what you're gonna be waiting for for two, two years until this truck comes out. Because I know you put a deposit down, some of you, so, Mine's will make yourself a model of it so you can show it off. Guys, we're gonna add neon light uh, tubes into the, uh, the front for the headlights and the rear for the taillights. This is the, the way I modified this model. I've cut canals through there uh, to adapt to these neon tube lights and they're battery operated so you don't have to have this thing plugged in, which is pretty cool. Now these lights aren't very bright but if you dim the lights down, I'll show it to you later on. They work really well as the headlight bar and the taillight bar. <clears throat> and tires are pretty awesome too. I printed the tires in a uh, flexible filament. So you can actually kind of squeeze them a little bit. Also, I did the seats in that flexible filament. They feel nice and cushiony. Very cool. All right, guys. I'll give you a closer look at this. I'll get started uh, putting it together in front of you and we'll see how quick it goes. I've done the lengthy part and that was actually designing and printing these. So that took a few days, uh, close to a week with everything. I made one prototype that I messed up, but this one came out the best. So uh, shouldn't take too long to put it together. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, first thing I want to do is uh, get our lights cut properly and in place before we start gluing the seats in and everything like that. I want to make sure I can route these lights properly. So, uh, I'll just untie these. These were a good find for this 3D print because they're just, they're going to look just like light bars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Velcro these in the back, I believe. Yeah, I'll just Velcro those. I've got some Velcro right here. I'll leave the link to any of the supplies uh, that I use in this video. I'll leave it in the description below. Okay. Let's see if I put the Velcro on these, then I can uh, pull them out in the back here got a removable lid so this piece I'm not going to glue down this piece I will glue in and then you can pull these out on velcro and pull them out to change the batteries in the back Okay, got no batteries in them right now. Let's see how this works. Okay, very strong stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do the headlight bar first. Now, guys, you're gonna say, hey, you don't need this much of a roll of this stuff. I'm gonna show you something first. You won't be able to see the lights on this uh, in my studio lighting right here, but Maybe you will, but it's got three different modes, off or four, with including off. This is off, this is on, this is like flashing, slow flashing, like hazards. Here's fast hazards. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? 
All right, so that, that's off. So this is on. So it's gonna make a cool headlight tube bar. All right, so what we got here on this roll, you're gonna notice there's an end like this, a cap. You can cut this roll anywhere you want. So I know I have to cut the cap off in order to fit it through this uh, little slot, corner slot right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off first. I don't know, I don't need this much uh, of a roll, so you can just cut this stuff anywhere. Here, I'll show you. I'll turn it back on again. See so guys, it works. Just cut it anywhere. Okay, we're gonna snake this through. You can snake it through on either corner. Fits up in that canal right there. So I'm gonna snake it through there. Straighten it out a bit first. So I can line it up. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it through that canal and come out the front corner, hopefully. All right. There we go, guys. It's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna pull all this through. There's no way. Okay. 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 So, I guess you could keep some extra and uh, snake it around here. I didn't make any channels though, so I'm not going to do that. At least not on this model. I'm just going to snake this right up through there. Maybe I can store some of the extra wire up underneath this dash compartment here. Okay, so it fits right in there like that. See guys, I'm gonna put some super glue on it and I'll have to hold it there for a while. And then on this corner, it, you're gonna cut it about right here and stick it back. There's another hole on this side, stick it back through so it's all nice and tucked in. Notice I already painted uh, the turn signals with my paint pen. So those aren't lighted, but they will have some color there, an orange color. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna cut this. Okay, all this is wasted. But this is gonna look cool. Let me make sure it still works. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, and then here, like I told you, and stick it right back through on this side. And that'll come back underneath the hood. Now we just need to apply some dabs of our Gorilla Super Glue Gel. Make sure you shake this up every time you go to use this. Since it's gel and liquid, you need to mix that consistently or it will lose its super glue properties. So it'll shake it vigorously really good. And I'll probably pause the video doing this because I got to hold this on for a while and then I'll come back. All right, guys, I got the headlight bar in. There it is turned on. Like how it wraps around the corner there. Hazards on. Now we'll go ahead and do our rear tail lamp bar right here and this is as close to red as it gets on these uh, there might be some other selections on Amazon this I bought in a, a six pack with six different colors and this was the closest to red and it's, it's okay it'll do the job okay this one it's gonna snake in through I made two channels one on each side behind the rear seats one right here and one over here so it could go in either way and then come out the other i'm going to go ahead and cut off this end actually i'm going to cut off a lot of this i don't need all this 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here for now. Throw that aside, make sure it still works. Yes, it's still working. Okay, now I'm gonna run this through here. Try to straighten it out a bit first. Run it through that canal there and come out the tail light section, just like that. Pretty cool. Pull all that through. Some of that cord can go through too. Yeah. So. Now again, you could run all this through and then make some lights on the inside. Maybe I'll try that for now. Stick it back through the other corner. And that'll come out the other channel on the inside here. Just get that untwisted so it's easy to super glue in there. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this and I'll be right back because I gotta hold this for a while. All right guys, got the rear light bar in. Test that out. It's working good. I also super glued the seats and held them in. Front and rear sections of seats are in. Had some extra red that I wrapped around here, that red uh, tubing. I could cut that off if I don't like how it looks afterwards. But I'm gonna go ahead now and we're going to uh, put on our top. Now I don't wanna goop it up with too much super glue. It's a lightweight piece. And I don't wanna sit here and hold it for a long time. So I'm just gonna put, I don't know, maybe six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's all here. All right, guys, I'm gonna count one, I'm gonna hard enough. Here we go, we have our move on. Oh. Get that lined up straight, and we'll apply pressure. It's coming together, guys. Looking pretty cool. All right. It's looking good. Look at that. It looks like stainless steel, doesn't it? Off the reflection of the lights. Almost looks like the real deal. All right, guys, and then this thing, uh, the topper cover, that just sits on there like that. We're not gonna glue that because we need access to our battery right here. And I notice these stick up a little bit high with the Velcro. So it's kind of preventing this from seating properly. We might have to take the Velcro off and super glue it. I'll see. It's not too bad though. You get the idea. All right guys, now tires and wheels and axles. Let's go ahead and put these through here. Take your other one. It's got a beveled hole in it, so it should be easy to get onto the axle. And I just like to hold it like this. Just apply even pressure, not very hard, because what I did, guys, the axles, I printed some spares. I printed in base mode. I stood it up on a printer like this and just spiraled it around a print. So there's no fill in these. The axles are in base mode. That's just a tip for you right there. Okay. Cool guys, look at this. TW Home Show Tesla Cyber Truck. And it's movable, it rolls. Guys, what do you think? Tesla truck, let me turn the lights on. There's a the headlight, tail light. Very cool, I'm happy with it. I know you guys will be. Once you get the prints done, you can see how easy, how easy it is to put together, right? And these strips work great for the headlight and tail light. And it rolls. 
Stay tuned guys because I'm also making a display stand. You're going to like the display stand. Um, it's printing right now, matter of fact. It says Tesla on it. It's going to be 3D lighted. That one's going to plug in so you're going to have it on your desk or on your bookshelf or something like that. And then you can always grab this off of it. It's kind of like a, a stand that kind of holds it up like this to display your Cybertruck. And then Tesla, the letters on the Tesla stand light up. It's very cool. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to another one of my videos, my 3D print videos. Hope you like this one. I'll leave all the links to it, all the files and everything. All those links will be in the description below. And guys, uh, there's one other thing I want to tell you. If you're in getting into 3D printing and hold on. If you're new to 3D printing or getting into it, uh, this is a uh, you know, kind of showing of the essential tools that I use on a day to day basis doing the 3D printing and designing. You're going to need the calipers, you're going to need the paint pens, the thin ones, and the fat ones. You're going to need that multi tool file, it's cool for when your prints are done, as well as those pliers. The pliers uh, are easy to because they're curved needle nose, so prints where you need to get the, the filler out after the, it's printed, all the infill. Those pliers come in real handy at grabbing stuff inside of, you know, a hole or a circle, whatever, to get all that infill out. So guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.